On September 6, 2020, Spacetrack.org, an online space launch database, added a peculiar entry. An unidentified object that flew into orbit as TBA, or to be assessed, was listed in a database maintained by the U.S. military's Combined Space Operations Center and the U.S. Canadian North American Aerospace Defense Command. The object was labeled 2020-063G, the base identifier for a Chinese experimental spacecraft launch. It was identified by satellite images that tracked it down to a previously unknown Chinese landing spot deep in the Gobi Desert. Days later, Chinese state media and Xinhua news agency informed that a Long March 2F rocket had carried a, quote, reusable experimental spacecraft into orbit and that the launch and landing were successful. Orbital data further confirmed that the object was placed in an orbit up to 217 miles in altitude. Nothing else was mentioned by the Chinese media, prompting the U.S. and other nations to conclude that China is working on a secret space project. According to state-run Chinese media, the mysterious object was launched on September 4, 2020, from the Zhuquan Satellite Launch Center in the Gobi Desert. The spacecraft returned to Earth on September 6. Neither the state nor other news outlets specified where the vehicle actually landed, or even described what it looked like. Although China reserved most information on the spacecraft, satellite imagery from the U.S. government and Planet Labs company surfaced from the web, revealing fascinating facts about the project. The images appear to be taken to the Lutnor nuclear site, where a 16,400-foot-long runway was built in 2016. According to the media, it's one of the longest runways in the world. The Chinese spacecraft was tracked passing over it on September 6th. Heavy equipment is visible at the end of the runway, with a 150-by-80-foot hangar standing nearby. Other small buildings are seen in the vicinity, where experts suggest that the spacecraft could be hidden from curious foreign eyes. Jonathan McDowell, an astronomer at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, has a hypothesis about the possible link between the airbase near Lop Nor and the secret landing spot of the Chinese spacecraft. In an interview with The Drive, McDowell said, quote, I'm reading a lot into a few little dots. The information sort of all hangs together now that this was a test of something, probably a space plane, that made a winged re-entry and landed on the runway. According to McDowell, the available data indicated that for its final orbit, the spacecraft traveled along a path that took it right over the secret landing spot. He said, quote, the ground track around the time of landing suggested that it might have landed at this mysterious new airbase. Although the satellite images did not show the aircraft, McDowell and others believe the Chinese are testing a spaceship that resembles the American X-37B. This classified robotic ship has been operated by the USAF since 2010. Experts have indicated that this type of vehicle needs a long runway to land on, exactly like the one at Lopnor Base. Brian Wheaton, director of program planning for the Secure World Foundation, which promotes the peaceful use of space, believed that the Chinese are emulating the behavior of the Soviets during the Cold War. He said the Chinese are copying the Americans just like the Russians did when the U.S. built the first space shuttle in the 1980s. For Wheaton, the Chinese reasoning is, quote, if the Americans have one of those, there's got to be a good reason for it, so we better get one too. Others believe that this spacecraft is part of a more ambitious government project. Gene DeVille, a space analyst who has been tracking Chinese space activities for the last few years, said the spacecraft could be part of a future Chinese space station. Andrew Jones, a journalist who covers the Chinese space program, reportedly said that it's no secret that during the past decade, China has been working on a possible spacecraft. In an interview with New Scientist, he noted, quote, There have been some clues that this mission might happen, but the actual timing was a surprise. A space plane is an ideal technology for atmospheric re-entry due to less brutal accelerations for the human body. Additionally, he said that if the news and pictures are real, such spacecraft could soon take Chinese astronauts to and from their own space station. China's secret spacecraft launch followed a CIA report's release, highlighting that the country could be pursuing military capabilities with it. In one section, the document says, quote, The People's Liberation Army continues to acquire and develop a range of counter space capabilities and related technologies, including kinetic kill missiles, ground-based lasers, and orbiting space robots, as well as expanding space surveillance capabilities which can monitor objects in space within their field of view and enable counter-space actions. 
The media has said that the creation of the United Space Force in the summer of 2020 is no coincidence. This might be a hint that a new type of waging war, space warfare, lurks on the horizon.